Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Here are the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of December. Volunteer not-for-profit organizations. We pray that volunteer non-profit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes us this morning. And as we gather together to spend this time with the Lord, let us ask the Lord to be with us, to guide us, to protect us, to show us the way that whatever we do, we may reflect His love, peace, joy and mercy to the world around us. My dear friends, as we spend this time with Jesus, let us open our hearts to Him. Let us tell Him exactly what we are going through. And let this moment be a time for us wherein we experience a healing touch of the Lord. Let it be a liberating moment where our burdens, where our shadows, where everything that troubles us is lifted and is taken afar. My dear friends, let us today reflect and meditate on Psalm 21. The Psalm says, In your strength the King rejoices, O Lord, and in your help, how greatly he exults. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked you for life. You gave it to him length of days forever and ever. And this shows us the graciousness, the gentleness of the Lord. Whenever we approach the Lord, the Lord is gracious to us. He always gives us in abundance. And all that is necessary from our part is to present ourselves to the Lord, to tell Him what is exactly going on within us. We are called to be true to God. Without hiding anything from Him, 
we are expected to open ourselves to him. The psalm continues, His glory is great through your help. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. You bestow on him blessings forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord and through the steadfast love of the Most High, he shall not be moved. And therefore, when we place our faith and trust in the Lord, we see that everything in life will fall in place. In life, we may face challenges. There may be obstacles. But the moment we have our faith and trust in the Lord, He will give us the grace. He will give us the strength to deal with these difficult moments in our lives. Sometimes we may have the tendency or the temptation in order to attribute everything to ourselves. When we do this, we create a gulf between us and the Lord. It further creates a division between the two. And as a result, we find ourselves going astray from the Lord. Therefore, today's psalm invites us to stop, analyze and look at our actions. What are we doing? Are we able to place our faith and trust in the Lord? Are we placing the Lord and giving Him the center place in our lives? A reflection on these questions will greatly help us in order to live according to the gospel values. The psalm continues, Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord will swallow them in his wrath and fire will consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the earth and their children from among humankind. If they plan evil against you, if they devise mischief, they will not succeed. And this is indeed an assurance from the Lord that if we are rooted in Him, no evil can prevail. Nothing can take us away from being in His love. And now let us close our eyes and at this morning let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us, to protect us. Lord, for all the blessings, for all the graces that you have given us, we praise you, we bless you, we worship you, O Lord. You have protected us, Lord, and you have guarded us all through the night. You have kept us safe, you have watched over us, and you have made sure that nothing is lacking in us. For all this, Lord, we thank you and we praise you. You have given us this day, O oh Lord. You have given us this morning hour where we can spend time with you. You have given us the gift of this day, a day that will help us to reach out to others, a day where we may complete some pending works. And Lord, whatever we do today, we offer it up to you so that everything we do may come from you and ultimately radiate your goodness and mercy. For your great love and mercy, O oh Lord, we praise you and we thank you. My dear friends, let us now spend a few moments in silence, reflecting on Psalm 21. And let us personalize this psalm and take from it all that we require all that which can make us better individuals, everything that can help us to come closer to God, 
to place our faith and trust in Him. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince, of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude pray for souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.